Shimano SPDSL row cleats. Probably one of the most popular version of road cleat out there. Meaning the Shimano SPDSL pedals, probably the most popular version of pedal also. That's why you will see nine times out of 10 guys wearing these cleats. And in this short vlog, I want to tell you what's up with the different colors. Is it fashion or does it mean something more? Hint, it means something more. Cleats, let's talk about cleats. What the hell are these things? Does anybody remember these? Hey guys, Average Jeff here, telling you not to be so average and hopefully elevating your game and some of the information I'm gonna pass down to you. Now first, I wanna talk about the Shimano SPDSL cleats because first of all, you may or may not be aware but there's different versions of these. There's actually three different versions of these and the terminology may be confusing because Shimano has the SPD and the SPDSL which are quite different and then also there's other competitors out there. There is Look, there is Crank Brothers, and there is the ever popular Speed Play. Now, I will tell you that the majority of the people that I know and the majority of the racers that I see on TV and in bike stores and even the shoes that you buy are using the Shimano SPD-SL system. So let's first start off. Shimano SPD. People, a lot of people say they're speed cleats. SPD actually stands for the Shimano Pedaling Dynamics. I'm not really sure what the SL stands for. I did some research and asked around. Some people say the SL stands for lightweight. Other people say the SL stands for standard look. Look is a competitor of Shimano and they came out with this version of cleats before Shimano did so. Some people say it's an Italian word, a super allegro, meaning, again, meaning super light. So whatever the SL stands for, the SPD SL is really the three bolt cleat into the clipless pedals. Shimano's pedaling dynamics. And basically, Shimano believes that both the shoe and the cleat and the pedal is all one interface that helps you have the most efficient and powerful pedal stroke. So Shimano first came out with the SPD a while back and the SPD cleat was a two bolt system and had two bolts only. It looked like a tiny little, I'll show you guys a picture and some people called them egg beaters. They were small, they were easy to clip in, clip out. But basically, look had the corner market on road bikes and they had this three bolt system as you see here and this is what I would say 90% of your road bike users are using today is this three bolt system. So when you go and buy your pedals or eventually you get your pedals and you get your clipless pedals, you will nine times out of 10 get a pair of cleats when you buy your pedals, especially when you're buying Shimano pedals. They always give you these cleats and they give you the cleats with this black and yellow, yellow color, right? There's your yellow. And this is probably what you have. If you're new to cycling, or even maybe just a couple years into it, this is probably what you know, this is probably what you see. First, let me say, why do they call these types of pedals clipless? when you have to clip in, right, oxymoron. So what I found was way back before these uh, clip-in pedals existed, there were these. And basically what you would do is you had regular pedals, you would attach these cages onto the front of your pedals, you would stick your cycling shoe into there, sometimes they had a leather strap included also, and this, was called, this used to be called clipping in. What happened was as technology advanced, and these were actually deemed pretty dangerous, these pedals were invented and they were called clipless because you had no cage. You were actually attaching directly from the bottom of the shoe. So now that you have some history, let's talk about the cleats. 
They actually come in three colors. They come in the yellow, they come in blue, and they also come in red, which I'll post a picture up. And the difference with these are, it's called float. So float is the amount of degrees you can twist your foot while you're pedaling without unclipping or popping out of being attached to the pedal. And these can give you up to six degrees of float. So what does that mean? That means if this is attached to the bottom of your shoe, you can move your foot while being clipped into your bicycle pedal six degrees. So you have this movement. The idea behind that is it eliminates or potentially eliminates issues with your ankles, your knees, and your hips. Meaning if you're not the most either A, efficient bicycle peddler, or B, it's not, you're not, you didn't get that bike fit, or you didn't professionally get sized for your bike. You don't want to be totally locked in where you can't move because after you bike uh, 30 or 40 miles, it may cause problems or minimally, it may cause some pain if you're so locked in. So what happens is giving you that six degrees of float helps eliminate. So while in the ride, if you need to make adjustments on the fly, so maybe your heel's a little in too far, you have the ability to move it back out. And with the yellow ones, the pivot's actually in the center. So it's the most easy, meaning right here in the center of the cleat, that's where the rotation is. So you have rotation for the front of your foot and in the back. The downside to that is it takes more movement to pop out of the clip or unclip. So there is a little bit of wishy-washy there. Some people say, and this is debatable, that when you have that movement, you're not actually getting the most out of your uh, pedal stroke and power transfer because you have that possibility of that movement. And when I started doing research, I actually found out that they have these blue. And what the blue is, is blue only has two degrees of float or two degrees of rotation. And this is probably a little bit more for a more advanced rider where either A, you've had a professional bike fit or B, you know where you like your cleat mounted to the bottom of your shoe. Not only does your foot not be able to move so much, you only have that two degrees, not the six degrees, but these rotate from the front of the cleat, not the center like I said in the yellow. So the idea behind this is you're really not moving your toe or the front of your foot. You only really have the two degrees of movement in the heel. Now lastly is the uh, SPD SL10 and that is red and those are fixed. There is no float, no movement. So when you mount these on and you clip in, you are locked, you are fixed. There's actually no movement. So let me know if you have any questions. So again, the yellow is for more of your beginner rider to intermediate rider that needs that six degrees of float or rotation. Eventually you may or may not want to advance yourself to blue, which only has two degrees of float or two degrees of rotation, which only rotates the back of your foot, and then eventually you may want to advance to the totally fixed lockdown version of the red. So I hope this helps. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Please let me know and I hope this gave you some good information on the SPDSL Shimano uh, Road Cleat. See you next time guys. Oh, 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 oh,